on to agenda item 5B, and this is REZ 2024-02. This is the Bird property. It's located at 3715 and 3725 Bird Road. It's currently EA and requested for R1. This involves 7.5 acres, and it will be served with well and septic. Mr. Bill. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, the property here is a, is a long triangular piece, approximately 7.5 acres by D, more or less 6.4 acres by actual survey. Uh, the property has been in existence since the late 60s, early 70s, which more or less predated county subdivision regulations. Uh, it is within the agricultural character area, which typically does not re uh, recommend R1 density. You'll notice the R1 density to the north here on this slide. Uh, that was done previously uh, back in 1996, which was more or less a precursor to family ties. At that time, rezoning to uh, SA was required in order to subdivide it, and then also in 2006 it was changed to R1. There's minor wetlands on the property in the southwest corner, and you'll see here the overall 6.4 acres in the middle there. You see how long and narrow it is. Tracks 1 and 2 do contain those previous homes from 1971. You see they're requesting there 1 acre and 1.08 acres. That 0 0.8 acres is designed for, uh, to allow for the right of way, uh, the, the acquisition should Bird Road be paved in any future uh, iteration. Uh, the total of five tracks here. You'll notice tracks 1, 2, 3, and 4 here expand approximately 915 feet. You can see where that terminates based on the current lots. There's about a 200 foot gap on the right for the existing dwellings. So you could potentially have four lots uh, before you even reach the nearest neighbor. And again, this is the property looking south down Bird Road, where those property lines begin. Again, houses are under renovation by the applicant. And again, just looking north, uh, Bird Road, track two, uh, this house has already gone, undergone an uh, additional renovation since this picture was taken. And again, you can see where track four terminates next to that additional or existing house on the east side there. So again, this is just the conceptual layout requesting R1. They could potentially have five tracks that meet county standards if approved. Uh, and the uh, comprehensive plan, like I said, doesn't necessarily recommend R1, it recommends severely limiting it. But we did note that given the size of this tract and the requirements for well and septic, overall development is limited. And that's why the Planning Commission ultimately recommended approval unanimously 8-0. Any questions for Mr. Dillon? Hearing none, we'll move on to agenda item 5A. 